Here we represent the relations of photosynthesis to cellular respiration with two industrial trading factories. To begin the process of photosynthesis, we'll start with our photo factory obtaining water. Water is absorbed through the pipe and brought into the reaction. The second stage of our factory's reaction is the absorption of light through these solar panels. These two key resources are combined in this reaction to produce oxygen, adenosine triphosphate, and NADPH. These two charged materials are sent into the next area of our factory that is not dependent on light. ATP and NADPH are returned by the dark reaction as uncharged material, ADP and NADP+, plus, once they are used for the reaction of glucose. This process occurs rapidly throughout the pipelines as these two materials continuously become uncharged and charged for these reactions. In the dark side of our factory, a service pump is used to capture carbon dioxide in the production of glucose. The carbon dioxide and oxygen from the factory are ready to be shipped away in exchange with its counter-reaction, respiration. Once glucose reaches our factory of respiration, it is immediately broken down into a substance called pyruvate. Four ATP are produced from the breaking down of this molecule, and, when oxygen is present, the pyruvate and ADP are sent into the Krebs cycle. The Krebs cycle leaves us with 6 CO2, 8 NADH, 2 FADH2, and 2 ATP, all of which are ready to be reused in the electron transport system. The electron transport system leaves us with a grand total of 32 ATP in some areas and 34 ATP in others. The other side of cellular respiration occurs where there is a lack of oxygen in the cytoplasm. If the membrane is unable to obtain oxygen, it will force the reaction into its cytoplasm into a fermentation process. Although this is certainly a way for the membrane to get energy, it is nowhere near as much energy as would be produced through the Krebs cycle and does indeed have side effects.